Hey there YouTube, this is going to be a video response to Matt, Timey to Wimey, who recently challenged us Transformers collectors to review toys that we absolutely loathe. Now there aren't that many Transformers that I loathe or hate as such, it's, it's, um, that's a little too strong, but there are quite a few that make me roll my eyes and sigh in exasperation because I just don't understand what Hasbro were thinking when they designed them. And the first actually comes from one of my favourite lines. In fact, most of them come from my favourite lines, ironically. It's the best of times and the worst of times, I'm afraid. And this is most certainly one of the worst of times. This is a repaint of the original Beast Wars Megatron mould. This is actually the appallingly named T-Rex. <sighs> from the Beast Machines line, but the mould was originally Beast Wars Megatron, and I, I despise this toy. I despise it for... well, there's one of the reasons right there. It does not hold together properly. It's not terribly coherent. You can make it so it looks okay, so that everything pegs together, but the moment you move anything on this toy, a bit of it will pop out, because it's a shell former. All of this is shell. There are panels that fold out and go all over the place. And the robot mode is tucked up inside. As a result, it is basically unplayable. You cannot play with this toy without something popping out. And that is a pain in the backside, quite frankly. This tail portion is the worst. And that is a great shame, especially when you consider that its counterpart was the absolutely stunning Optimus Primal, the original Optimus Primal toy for Beast Wars, which was brilliant. This thing, it ranks amongst some of the worst Megatrons produced in my mind. And also, unlike many of the early Beast Wars toys, it doesn't even have the articulation to make up for it. Its legs will sort of move, but the moment you move them, panels pop out. Its tail is static. The mouth moves and it has uh, a gimmick whereby it squirts water for some bizarre reason. But if you actually make use of that, then the paint, a paint applications have a nasty habit of wearing away. It's an appalling toy and it gets worse in robot mode. Now... One of the criticisms that is regularly levelled at Beast Wars by its detractors is that many of the robot modes are ill-designed, lazy, incoherent messes with bits and pieces hanging all off of them. And, you know, much as I love Beast Wars, some, in some instances that is a very fair criticism. And in this case, it most certainly is. This is a shoddy robot mode. It's not a robot mode. It's... The echo of a robot heavily compromised by bits of alt mode everywhere. It doesn't, it doesn't have hands, it just has one arm is this ridiculous claw made from the tail mode and the other is the beast mode head. It has panels hanging off the hips, it has panels hanging off of the back. It is a shell former in the very worst sense of the term. There are shell formers that work. There are. This one doesn't. It's horrible. Absolutely horrible. And the kibble makes it very difficult to actually do anything with. Because the moment you move something, something else moves elsewhere. It is a terrible, terrible toy. And I'm just very thankful that latter incarnations of Beast Wars Megatron were, just, were so good. If you're going to get a Beast Wars Megatron, get Transmetal 2 Megatron, the Dragon. Do not get this. It is an appalling piece of work. The eagle-eyed amongst you may notice that my shirt has changed colour. That's because my computer mangled the original footage that I recorded for the middle of this video, prompting me to go back and re-record it a day later. Anyway, the next two Transformers that I have to review for this video response are something of a double whammy in that they share the same name, although they are actually completely different characters. And the first of them is this chap. This is uh, Beast Wars Silverbolt from the Magnaboss Combiner. 
Now you may be looking at this and thinking, well, well what's wrong with that? And you, I think that's very fair. In this mode, he's quite superb. He's a beautiful eagle. A bald eagle, I do believe. And there are very, very, very few problems with him in this mode, especially considering that he is part of a combiner. Compared to the uh, some of the G1 combiner components, he is absolutely superb in this mode, especially considering the range in, of his articulation. No problems at all. The problems with this guy become evident in his robot mode. Now, you're probably looking at that and thinking, you must have transformed that wrong, there must be something else to it, there must be something you've missed, that cannot be it. I'm afraid that is it. That is Silverbolt's robot mode. And it, to say that it's compromised is a, an embarrassing understatement, to be quite frank. When you compare this to, to the, uh, the three Transformers that make up the Predacon combiner, Tripredacus, each of those is perfectly serviceable, both in their alt modes and in their robot modes. They could have been packaged as basic Beast Wars toys and sold independently, and they would be perfect as standalone figures. The same, unfortunately, cannot be said for the components of Magnaboss, all of which are heavily compromised in their robot modes. And I, I would go so far as to say this thing doesn't even have a robot mode. There's the components of a robot slung underneath the eagle mode. That's about all you can say for it. There is no way that qualifies as a coherent robot mode, quite frankly. They could have even made it so that this detaches or something, and that would have... I wouldn't have been terribly happy with that, but that would have been something. Instead, you just have this. Bits of a robot underneath bits of an eagle. It's a very, very poor show. And the sculpting of this thing is very poor as well. The robot components, anyway. The head is just hideous. You can't really see it on this camera, but the head is repulsive. And thanks to this uniform brown, you can't really see much of the sculpting on the torso either. It's a very, very poor show, this one. Now just to clarify, this is not the same Silver Bolt who featured in the cartoon show, the Beast Wars cartoon. Oh no, 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 no. This is actually a reincarnation, a maximal reincarnation of Gen 1 Silver Bolt. This is the same uh, character who once led the Aerial Bots. And he is one of the Maximal Elders who is uh, responsible for the coordination of Cybertronian society. And it's just a shame that they didn't put more work into making uh, a more appropriate toy for the character because this is awful. This is only worth having as part, as a component of the Magnaboss whole. Magnaboss, the combined form of Prowl, Ironhide and Silverbolt, is superb. Absolutely superb, but this thing just fails as, as a standalone toy, I'm afraid.